At the core of our plan is a belief that our country works best when it's inclusive, when everybody's participating in the economy, when no one's left behind, when everybody has a fair shot, when the playing field is level so that everybody has a chance to get ahead with hard work, determination, and where the game isn't rigged for those who are already at the top. And that's the first priority that our plan solves, is building the economy so that it works for everybody, not just the wealthy few. And as a first step, we reverse the austerity that's been put in place over the past several years that's held back job growth and that's hurt the economy. And frankly, it was part of a misguided attempt to address long-term deficit reduction. It doesn't really get at the true drivers of the long-term debt. Instead, it's going after more short-term things that we ought to be investing in to grow the economy. It's a mistake. The long-term debt's driven by an aging population, projected large growth in health care costs, and an inadequate tax code. Now, our plan takes steps to slow the growth of health care costs, and we do that by building on the success that the Affordable Care Act seems to be having in this area, rather than tearing it down. No one can stop the population from aging, and that's where the tax code comes in. Right now, the tax code is just inadequate to keep up with the aging population. It's not a fair code, it's not efficient, it's not simple. Our plan reforms the tax code, and by doing that, we can sustain programs like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and the public investments that we need to make to grow the economy. Our plan meets the three tests that any plan has to pass to be taken seriously as a fiscally responsible budget. First, it grows the economy in a sustainable way, with a strong and growing middle class. Second, we enact credible policies that control health care cost growth, that build on the progress of the Affordable Care Act. And third, we recognize what every bipartisan commission that's looked at the long-term debt has recognized. That new revenue has to be part of the solution. We did our plan to show that you don't need the mindless austerity of the past several years. You can reduce the long-term debt in more reasonable ways, in ways that the American people can support, that build an economy that's not just geared towards the wealthy few. That long-term debt reduction doesn't have to come from programs for low and moderate income people. That you can afford a 21st century government that we can make progressive decisions, smart decisions, balanced decisions that can build an economy that works for everybody.